Hi, I'm Jonathan Milam, and I've got a horn I'd like to have a moment with you and show and tell. This is a 1962 Olds Special, and uh, the reason they call it a special is because it's special. A uh, great horn, lots of, as you can see here, nickel silver on the bell. In fact, the vast majority from the uh, uh, into the first slide or first valve to most of the tip. Then they've got what they call the rose brass um, bell tip here or flare. And uh, it does, I believe, make a difference. The remainder of the horn is an interesting mix. In fact, it really is an attractive horn. You've got the nickel silver uh, mouthpiece receiver, the brass lead pipe, and then you've got the mixture of brass and nickel silver. And of course, with the copper or rose brass bell flare, it's, uh, it's an attractive horn. It's a um, nice playing horn, very good valves. Olds valves are honestly uh, some of the finest they, they find, of, certainly of vintage horns. And these slides on this one work extremely well. And uh, actually, this horn still has fair compression. It'll suck the third slide back in. And uh, to me, that's always a good sign. I'll play just a moment on it. An old, uh, old chorus. Give me that old time religion. <laughs> really a nice sound and I've got a few other horns that I was comparing it with and when I took them all out and it certainly is not the end all in a test for a horn but I just flicked the bell with my finger and uh, I was very surprised I've got a nice Yamaha Zeno RGS 8335 very good horn and um, I've got a professional Canstel horn they're both very good horns but this one really does have the best ring and I uh, don't know if you can hear that, but it just, uh, it does keep on going. And for a horn that is, what, some 51 years old, that's actually pretty impressive. Another thing that I do like about this horn is it's got the reservoir section, which is kind of an indentation in the third uh, slide. You put a little oil in there, and then every time that it's brought out, uh, it just takes a little bit of that oil and I don't know if you can see it here, but that ridge is actually the indentation or the reservoir. And a lot of nice old vintage horns did that. I wish they did it today on some of the finer horns that they make. But at any rate, an old special, 1962. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for being with us. We'll have more horns in the future. Bye for now.